Back in 2017, Mark Shuttleworth announced that Canonical would no longer be developing for the Convergence project, which marks the end of the Unity desktop for Ubuntu. But thanks to a community effort, you can still get the Unity 7 desktop in 2019 with Ubuntu 19.10, the current release at time of recording. So I'm running this system in a virtual box, so performance may not be 100% of what we might expect, but uh, well, performance issues aside, I can tell you that some features aren't working properly. If we go across the launcher, we do have like the full screen and the half-sized view. You've got the different scopes you can use. Uh, yeah, some of these aren't working. I'll come to those later on, but yeah, you can search for applications. So if I want to open, um, let's say Firefox, because that's not in the list there. Yeah, Firefox. And yet with the keyboard, I can open that. So yeah, that would be a behavior I'd expect. In terms of using the desktop, yeah, you can push the application across to the side, automatically resizes. Uh, you've got the yeah, dragging the window down, then maximizing it. You've got a global menu there. We have the heads up display working if you press the Alt key and then type in a command from the menu. Let's say I want the about. So yeah, about LibreOffice. There you go, that feature works. You can still use the Unity Tweak tool to customize various options with the desktop. Oh yes, the switch, uh, uh, the Alt and Tab. Yeah, all looks good. The old ambience and radiance themes have been provided. Now let's go through some of the disadvantages. So if I right click on desktop, go to change desktop background. Across the appearance, any wallpaper you change affects both the lock screen and the desktop. Well, the latest version of GNOME desktop allows you to choose between whether you're setting the lock screen or the desktop or both at the same time. Yeah, no such feature seems to exist here. Uh, the behavior, oh yes, we do have the option of showing the menus in the title bar. You don't have to have a global menu all the time, so yeah, you can change that. Excellent. So I want to find the audio file there, so it's got it in a recently opened file. So yeah, power.mp3. Finds it there on the recent file, but if we go and direct it to music, yes, that works. But now if I go and look at the music scope, uh doesn't seem to find anything. Uh, it's the same story for photos and videos. But recent file seems to work okay though. Yeah, so that one's okay. As far as the filtering goes, we can look at certain items. So yeah, let's say I want to look at the man page for less. We'll pick that up. After what seems like quite a lengthy delay, it does get there and shows some man pages. Uh, driverless. Okay, yeah, just open that. Okay, so there you go, that feature works. But I can't get any of the online searches to work. So for example, Flickr, nothing, Picasa, Facebook. Oh, I don't know what I'll be looking for in Facebook anyway. So, Oh, Mark got something there of color lovers. I think it, one of these has finally worked. So as you can see, it is a bit hit and miss. If I was to open up Synaptic Package Manager and look for Unity hyphen scopes, so you've got a list of the scopes here, but if you try and install some of them, it'll completely break the desktop. So I think uh, DeviantArt was one of them, but will break everything. Yes, to be removed would be the Unity desktop. Well, that's no good at all. Uh, weather was another one, which is a little bit annoying. Yes, the open weather map, same thing here. To be removed is the Unity desktop. Uh, some of them will work though. Yeah, this open clip art tool. But it, yeah, it's not going to be as feature rich as the original Unity desktop back when it was supported by Canonical. Let me show you how you install this. Oh, and by the way, I can't see suspend there in that list. So, so if you open up terminal and yeah, I'm just going to show you the command lines because it's easier. Then type in sudo apt install Ubuntu Unity desktop. 349 packages will be installed and there's 535 meg of additional disk space required with 140 meg of downloads. So it is actually interesting to see this working in Ubuntu 19.10 because I believe that the Qt4 libraries have been deprecated here and removed, of which Unity would have been dependent upon. 
I, no I did notice some Qt5 items being installed. So yeah, perhaps the developers have gone and ported it across. Now we do have this option here of configuring LightDM. So do you want to use the LightDM login manager or the defaults for Ubuntu 19.10 was GDM3? It's entirely up to you. I've tried both. You do get the nice theming with LightDM, but if you leave it at GDM, then you've still got the easy default if you want to go back to GNOME. As far as removing all this goes, it'll be a sudo apt remove and then Ubuntu Unity desktop. And while you're here, you can do sudo apt install Unity tweak tool. And that's it, just go and log out. Change to using the Unity desktop and log back in. Log back in and there you go, that's the Unity desktop now installed. So there you go, it is possible to have the Unity 7 desktop in the current year. Thanks for watching, see you all later.